Hello. Um, so I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how to go about configuring IIS. Um, and so I already have uh, IIS uh, manager uh, open right here. And so uh, clearly, uh, what you initially need to do is you need to define uh, a virtual directory on top of an existing uh, uh, website, right? But in a, in a typical situation, obviously, what you probably have to do before doing that, assuming that uh, your for some reason your IIS, uh, uh, which is by the way uh, um, uh, the common way of uh, making use of IIS um, production systems. Um, assuming that uh, you have multiple websites defined, what you probably have to do is maybe define, uh, you know, uh, a new website before you actually uh, create uh, a virtual directory on top of that website. But in my case, what I'm going to do basically is create uh, my virtual uh, directory right on top of the default website. And <coughs> the beauty of using Windows, uh, there's this uh, uh, virtual directory creation wizard that pretty much uh, um, um, that that pretty much uh, 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 helps us, uh, you know, create our, our, our virtual directory seamlessly. Um, um, so I'm, I'm just basically going to define the alias uh, that I'm going to use here. Um, I really remember going through some some documentation somewhere. I can't quite remember which one uh, or which particular documentation I was going through. That seems to uh, explicitly state that the the name of the alias alias has to sort of like uh, uh, somehow match uh, what you have defined as your UR, URI uh, extension uh, value. Um, that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm actually naming this Jakarta. Um, and then uh, uh, this this path, path is basically just supposed to point to uh, the location where you have uh, the uh, IIS uh, ISAP uh, um, uh, plugin installed and in my case I have it installed right there um, and then obviously um, um, the sort of permissions I want defined here is I want read access uh, I want scripts to be uh, I, I want to be able to run scripts and then uh, also be able to execute scripts um, uh, uh, finish and then the next thing to do is uh, to obviously add um, an ISAP filter on top of uh, uh, on top of uh, your website there on, on top on top of your defined website. Um, in, in this case, I'm actually creating the filter right on top of uh, this uh, default website uh, um, that was th that is by default created by uh, when you install IIS. Um, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it this name. Uh, I mean, you could just as well choose to give it any other name, and then uh, the executable essentially uh, is just supposed to point to uh, the dynamically linked uh, file that you installed right within the Tomcat plugins directory. And in this case, it's ISAP redirect uh, dot DOL file. Uh, just apply, and you notice that the priority is unknown. Uh, now because we haven't yet uh, sent through requests via IIS um, but you should be able to change uh, once everything is up and running um, and then finally what you need to do is you need to create uh, a web uh, uh, services extension uh, a new web services extension and for consistency sake what I'm what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, give it the same name as my uh, my, my uh, my my ISAP filter. Um, the required files are pretty much uh, sub that's pretty much just supposed to point to uh, the uh, ISAP redirect uh, um, executable or dynamically uh, linked uh, library file. Okay, and then uh, we want to set the extension uh, status to uh, allowed. So you notice that we have it defined right here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and then all you need to do is basically just, uh, you know, uh, restart IIS uh, to ensure that the changes actually, uh, 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 to, to make sure that the changes are effective. Um, so I'll 
see you in the next uh, video where uh, we'll basically map on the disk space context paths, uh, the appropriate disk space uh, context path.